Good evening, tasters. Nivola here again, another Nightcap Note. Firstly, I'd like to thank all those people who recently have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for joining, and I love the comments all of you are making. Every, every year for about 35 years, my mate Neil and I have been going up to the lakes here in Tasmania fly fishing. Here's a photo of me holding a fish that I caught. Uh, it was feeding along the dam wall that you can see behind me and I presented a little beetle fly and he took it down very acceptably. And here's a photo of my mate Neil with a beautiful brown trout he caught last year at Penstock Lagoon. So we go fishing, but at the end of the day, it's research time. And this year, no fish by the way, we sampled about eight single malts and they all had to have peat. Well, it was an interesting trip. And my mate brought along this particular Ardbeg single malt called Wee Beastie. Now, when I did a review of the sheep dip, I said never judge a whiskey by its label. However, this is a whiskey that you can judge by its label. It says it's five year old and it's really interesting. It wasn't necessarily the best of the single malts we tried, the Lagavulin 16, as usual, one hands down. But this was really worth having a go at. So when I got back from the lakes, I went into the bottle shop and bought a bottle. They tell me that as blended whiskey production or consumption is reduced, there are a lot more barrels of younger whiskey. Now, whether that's the case of this one or whether Ardbeg have decided, let's put out something and see what happens. So let's look at the colour. Now, that's the first really interesting thing. This is a bright straw colour. Now, those of you who know the Ardbeg 10 well would know that the colour of that is almost like water. So this has obviously seen some different oak or has had some other influences. <laughs> the nose is lifted and there's lots going on. There's uh, brine, seawater, cracked pepper, um, some wood shavings, and there's lots of peat wafting around. It smells like standing next to a seaside barbecue. Barbecue's fired up, smoke going everywhere. You haven't yet put the sausages on, but the smoke's there. It just smells very much like that. There's a lot of lift in that. It's aggressively lifted. Obviously a younger spirit. And they say that on the label. They say it's five years old. And well done to them for, for putting an age statement rather than just one of these no age statement labels. There's pepper coming through, there's oak. And yet there is, there is some sweetness and chocolate. And uh, on the finish, the, the brine or the salty water does shine through a certain coating of oiliness and the punchy pepper proves persistent. Say that after a few of these. And, and there's even a hint of licorice. It's a very interesting whiskey. 
it's only $5 cheaper than the 10 year old. Do you prefer youth and lift over elegance? Well, that's a hard question. For myself, I prefer the elegance of the 10 year old, which I rate in my top 12 whiskies. But this one is really interesting. I'm happy to have tried it. Whether, when it's all gone, whether I'll replace it, that's a question for two or three years' time. But it was worth trying. Thank you, Neil, for introducing it to me. And maybe on our next trip, we might catch a fish. But we will keep researching whiskies.